Gauteng government realized the importance of the area and invested over $20 million for infrastructure and roads so that visitors could visit the Sturkfontein Caves in Marupeng, covering some 53,000 hectares of land. We are looking at plus minus 16 of those sites excavated at the moment. We're looking at at least 40% of uh, the world fossils coming from this site. So we are talking the richest fossil site uh, in most of the places that we can look at. Some of the world's most famous finds have been made in this area. So we're talking big fossils like Littlefoot, which is an almost complete skeleton. We're talking about uh, the skull of Mrs. Pless, which is the most complete skull of an Australopithecus to be discovered. Mm -hmm. We're talking Homo naledi discoveries, which is roughly the most biggest collection of fossils to be put up on display in the history of paleoanthropology. At least two of the sites, the Sturkwintin Caves and the Marupeng, attract their fair share of visitors over weekends and school holidays many trying to come to grips with the concept of evolution. A lot of people that come through are very confused. Uh, the common heritage that we share with each other, where does the concept of race come in between, um, how much DNA we share with apes and did we really get uh, uh, to be born from apes and those are type of uh, things that people would like to know. There are some 200 caves that have been identified in the area and at least 40 of those show promise with fossil finds a high possibility. Fossil finds provide valuable clues as we trace back our heritage and discover where we came from. And sites like this here are important for our understanding. I'm Angelo Coppola for CGTN in Krugersdorp, South Africa.